Multiple law enforcement agencies across West Michigan are receiving hundreds of thousands of dollars. In a release, the U.S. Attorney's Office for the Western District of Michigan states that the money is being used to help curb violent crime. News 8's Taylor Morris live in studio tonight with which organizations are receiving this money, Taylor? Brian, that's right. The Justice Department has awarded these grants as part of their comprehensive strategy for reducing violent crime. Today, I caught up with the U.S. Attorney for the Western District of Michigan to ask more specifically what the money is funding. We were at a moment where we're seeing an uptick in violent crime and we want to do everything we can to help address that. About five months ago, Attorney General Merrick B. Garland announced a new effort to reduce violent crime throughout the U.S. One of the goals of that initiative was to award grants to communities to help fund opportunities for programs that focus on reducing gun violence and other violent crime. The strategy also focuses on harnessing federal resources, intelligence, and expertise as a force multiplier with the state, local, and tribal law enforcement. After an extensive application process. It was announced on Friday that multiple agencies across West Michigan were chosen. Well, these grants really cover a, a number of different purposes. We have a couple places here in West Michigan that are receiving awards to help increase hiring. So the city of uh, Portage, the city of White Cloud both received significant funds to help uh, hire a number of new officers who are going to be focused on community oriented policing. According to Friday's announcement, the city of Portage will receive a million dollars and is planning on hiring eight new officers. The city of White Cloud was awarded one hundred and twenty five thousand dollars. Michigan State Police is also on the list, receiving $200,000. According to U.S. Attorney for the Western District of Michigan, Mark Totten, the money granted to MSP is going to help address mental health needs and their law enforcement officers. That's a, a, a really uh, important service that we need to focus on. And Lastly, Godfrey Lee Public Schools in Wyoming is being awarded $500,000 in order to help with security. We've especially seen um, a number of uh, violent crimes have been committed with with guns. Uh, right now, we you know over the last two years, the the number one killer uh, among our youngest Americans, ages one through 19, has become uh, uh, firearms. For a full list of agencies that are granted the money, you can head over to our website at woodtv.com. Brian.